Hi everyone again. Today I will show you how to create your own dynamic event. First we need to enter this editor and there place our objects which will be used by our dynamic event. In my occasion it is mine rail tram. I have placed it on the railway in some special places and some nuance is that you cannot use these numbers for example look all your numbers must be positive no negative numbers can be used because the event will not work for example we have placed our tram in this way and we see negative number it will not work even if you will export to map group pos the object will spawn for example with object spawner it will work but in the occasion with event when you will add here your orientation it will work only with positive numbers. Here is the bug that I was repairing because I didn't know that it does not work but I have repaired it and I have changed the numbers to positive. For example it was placed like this but we may change it in positive numbers. As you can see we can replace it by positive. Just change the numbers. You can replace by positive numbers and it will match too for you. 170. So we have placed our objects that we will we'll use for our events, but they will not be placed here always. We just placed them only to use their positions. Then we export it to map group pos. Some file. I use file one and go export. Then we need to open in our server folder permissions these files all these files except this this is my private file events xml it is a line here events then even groups even groups, even spawns, map group proto. Here it is. Then we go to our saved file and open it. As we can see we have all our objects and all their positions. And as we can see, the third number of orientation, here it is, is all positive. We have checked it, all is positive, that is good, and it will work. If you will see here, for example, negative number, don't use this, go to your ed editor and use some positive number we go to events there we have to create a new event we have to copy some event for example helicrash copy and in some place we can create it here is the number of your events here is the minimum number of your events to start spawning if your events have disappeared and only five events left 
the game will start spawning to this number and your events get 11 again. You may use 0, so only when your events reach the number 0 in the map, the game will start your events until it will not reach 11. Here is the lifetime of your event, here is the radius uh, to player position, not closer than 800 to player position it will spawn. Distance radius, this is um, the distance to another event, but I don't know the same another event or any event that spawns in your server, so don't use here very big numbers, for example 500 meters will be the best. You can simply look how it is done in native events, but my native events have been changed already, but you can use your native files and see there how it is done. Cleanup radius, this is the distance at which player must be to delete this event only if the lifetime was spent. So I will use this structure event groups. In event groups we have to create event groups. So I have created 21 event group, railway situation 21 and railway situation 1, situation 2, 3, 4 and so on. Then here is loot, loot max 5, loot min 3 in my event. Then all these axes left for 0, but we will use only this A. In this file only A. And in A we have to place numbers from our export from the editor export file. Just use this number, the certain number from RPY. Copy this and place here. But I will not do this because I have done everything. So I have created all these groups. You can name it as you want. Then save. Next file. Next file is event spawns. On the example by static train event, I have created static railway situation. Here is the line where we can change how many zombies will be. I have added not dynamic zombies, here is dynamic zombies, but I have added only static zombies, minimum 3, maximum 7. Here is the radius where zombie will spawn. By the way, in the line secondary you can add your zombies. For example, in the same file you can use infected city use as the secondary. But I will use infected industrial too. I have created special event for my event. Look here. As you can see, here is the native infected industrial, but I have created another event infected industrial. This is the copy of the simple infected industrial, but I will use only this classes of zombies because they match to my event. I have use only this. There should be a number 100 in the sum. You can use big numbers for zombies you want to spawn oftener. I have copied and placed here, so the zombies will spawn with my railway situation. 
here is the number how many zombies will spawn and we have to name all them like this for example and use the names from event groups from our event groups if here is the name really situation one so in this file we also will use really situation one and here we must use the parameters from our export file from days editor here it is the first parameter don't look to my first line that is my test line first number place here the second number will be the last so the third number here we copy and place to the second place as you can see and this axis is here it lies here copy it and place in this place so we have to replace them in the third we replace with the second in this situation when writing here coordinates that is all our coordinates are ready from export file and we can go to map group proto file in map group proto we can copy any existing example for example here is the group enter and paste i will not do this because i have already my own group here is my group as you can see i have cleared all positions three positions i have placed like zero these positions are not positions in the map if your event spawns in this position in map these positions shows us where will spawn loot from the point of your event from this point how far away will spawn loot from that point this is the range and this is the height so I have put here zero 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 so my loot will spawn in these coordinates only not aside only in these coordinates but if we will use for example these numbers or another it will spawn in these coordinates too but a little aside i think that's understood this flag means that uh, loot will be dropped to the ground as i remember uh, here is flags 16 and no flag can be no flag you can change them and check what will be i don't remember but i always use flags 32 and as i wanted that my loot will spawn in the tram in the middle of the rail tram so i will use zeros and it will spawn in the center of the event then range one that doesn't matter but some numbers the game will not read for example if you will use zero it may not work so i will use one and with height the same situation not all numbers will work so i will use two meters under my event and then the loot will drop on the event on the ground on my rail tram okay there is what usage will be used 
I have created my own usage, but you may use already created native usages, medic, military, and so on. Also, you may use not only usage, but, for example, categories and tags. So, the loot will spawn by categories and by tags. But I will use only my usage. I have added this usage to file CFG limits definition. Here is our all usages, all categories and tags. And as you can see, I have created my own usage, RS, Railway Situation Usage. So there will be the special loot. And I have I have added in the types file my usage to the items that can be spawned at my event. As you can see, base radio in the native was in this way, but I have added to it usage RS and base radio may spawn here with my static object mine rail tram because of this line. So that is the way how I added special loot to my own event. Let's look how it is done in the game. For example, where can it be? It may be here. Let's look. And as you can see, here is our event. Let's switch on God mod. You are not in the safe position here, as you can see. Let's get invisible. So, as you can see, here is the loot. You can add your own loot as you want. I have added the loot that can be used by railway workers, some clothes, some tools, but this is not the best example. Let's see here. Here's another event. Let's check there. And as you can see here, there is more loot. So, as you can see, all this loot may be used by the workers and it is spawning in the tram that is beautiful as for me so that's for all i think put your likes under the video and bye everyone